Hey guys, Jordan here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, repair video for the Transit 350 uh, side sliding sliding door handle plastic uh, repair. So the first thing you're going to need is a plastic door handle. Part number is right here for you to see. So if you order one of these, you'll be able to do this video. First thing you're going to want to do is take the plastic tab. It's going to be the assembly video. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe below uh, for uh, updated uh, and new content uh, with uh, car and technical type videos. Uh, so we'll take this plastic tab and there's little tabs and those little tabs that come up, those are going to face inward. That's the door. I'm going to take the new handle, slide it in forward first, push down, and forward. You'll have to push it a little bit, give it a little, there we go, locks in. And then make sure it's seating flush. The next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take this piece of the black handle, which we unscrewed with a T27 screwdriver, push that back down in there. All right, so we're on the inside, and you're gonna hold that little black piece that we just installed. Um, and then we're going to take a hand screwdriver, and we're going to put it through this hole and line it up with that. It's a T27 screw. Lock into it. Now getting the thing on the screw itself is probably the hardest part of it. There we go. Once you get it on, you want to just tighten it back up. And that's going to be screwing that small end piece that didn't break off. Once it's tight, don't kill it. Stop once it, it starts to tighten up. And you'll notice I peel back this plastic really carefully. Uh, you can use a hair dryer just to loosen this adhesive. Afterwards, just put it back in place, just like so. And now, to get up to all that, you have to remove this panel. I didn't remove the very, very corner one down in the very corner. It's a, a T20 um, Torx, which is the star type screw, uh, because then I can just drop it down and just remove this stuff. Uh, then all you have to do is basically install all of these clips back into the door. Um, to get these off, there's a little notch, a little flat spot. You take a flathead screwdriver and just pop them up, and then pull, and then put a flathead behind the end and pop them and pop this clip out. And then when you install them, notice I just put the clip in first. I'm just putting them all over the door. There they go. Then I'll put these in. And then to lock them, you'll take the, the, pl the small plastic piece right here, and then you just push those into each one. Now to remove them, I'll show you how to do that. Simply just put it behind in the slot, lift the tab up, pull this little plastic piece out, and put the flat head underneath, and then work the clip out. And then to remove, push it back in, take the plastic, pop that in. Real simple. Uh, then the next thing you'll have to do is get a T20 bit, which is the Torx, right here. And the trick to getting these out, so these are the ones at the door. So they're all the way in the corner. I go underneath where the floor is. I have a wood board that comes over. Um, and then basically get the doors to the right position. This one's easy to get to. The one over here and over there are a little bit more difficult. It's still not hard. Um, 
So basically, like so. Tighten that down. I won't put everything together, so you don't have to wait through this whole entire video. This will kind of show you just how I do it. Now it's all put together, as in it will work. And I'll pull the camera out. So now you'll notice that this works. Close it, pull the handle, and now it opens. And then you'll notice it locks. Can't move it, pull it, and now it's closed. Well, if you enjoyed that video uh, and you thought it was helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and again, uh, keep up to date with uh, new videos. If you have any questions or recommendations, please comment below, and I will feel free to do the best I can. Uh, have a great day, and enjoy fixing.